Hello everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and today I am going to share with you some eco printing that I did. Um, this is with water, white vinegar, rusty stuff and um, different kinds of paper. So I'll show you. First I did heavy color or heavyweight watercolor. And this was the result. This was a big hosta leaf. This is the hosta leaf. And then there was a, uh, a lily here. Um, so the watercolor paper with the vinegar, let me turn the side on, did not do the best for me. Um, this again was the, a different lily and then you can see just a little bit of maple leaf over here over here this was actually watercolor that was on the paper another watercolor more lily another maple leaf I'm not sure what kind of leaf that was but it did do well with the color um, these were some bigger leaves and then some small like ferny they weren't ferns but they were like ferns and then this paper this again was already watercolored a little bit and then i got this really nice impression and it was just a bush in our yard i don't know what kind another lily so those were my watercolor experience papers and again this was the, the white vinegar method i'm going to do the alum alum method i just need to go get some so i'll show you those too um Let's see, these are just things like tea stain. Um, this was charcoal paper, paper, and it did well. Um, there's another bush and um, a different tree, and then I'm not sure what these were here. So. I'm going to use these in my junk journals and then oh I have another piece of I forgot watercolor here's another watercolor you can see the leaf impressions here and they did come out kind of yellow I'm not sure what happened here maybe it hit my I'll show you what I use my book press that I used in the water um I think this is another piece of charcoal paper and this one ripped but it's not a very good image anyways. You can't really see anything on there. There's vague impressions. I'll fix it up or use it, make a pocket and use it anyways. It's not perfect, but I used some tracing paper and put this behind it. It actually did come out really well. I don't know if you can see two maple leaves and a lily. And then here's another piece of tracing paper. And there's a maple leaf, um, another maple leaf, and a lily. The tracing paper, you need to, it you have to be really careful and pull apart right away while it's still wet or it sticks together because I did rip one like that and then this is the best impression I got but it's very delicate I broke or ripped this one in several places and you can see the leaves on there this was Chinese paper I actually got it off of eBay and it looks like this So it's Chinese paper and it has almost the texture of a napkin, but a little thicker. So that did very well, but it was hard to handle. And then my book press is two six inch cutting boards with a hole drilled in them. Used a couple carriage bolts, um, a washer and a wing nut. You want to make sure you get long enough carriage bolts. 
that they, you know, you can still put something in there. So once it's what you do, if you're going to use this for something else, you may want to have two or maybe use a different method. I've seen people just use string. If I could get this to come apart evenly, it would be a lot better. There we go. Okay, so anyways, you just take, you fold your papers in half with the leaves in them. You put your papers into the press and then you bolt, you wing nut it down. And that is how I did my eco printing. And again, I'm going to do some more. Um, we'll do some trial and error and I will get back with you as soon as we do that. So thank you and have a great day.